Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of Dreaming Sarah for the Xbox. Now, this was released on the 5th of March 2021 by Rattalaka Games, and I have been given a copy to do a review, so big thanks for that. Now, this is a 2D platformer, as you can see from the video to the right of me. Now, as I do with all my uh, reviews, I'll just quickly go over the bio. Um, so, it's Dreaming Sarah is a surreal adventure platformer game with puzzle elements, an engaging environment, an incredibly diverse cast of characters, and of course, a young girl named Sarah. So, Sarah has been in an accident and is currently in a coma. It's up to you to help her wake up by exploring her dream world. And you explore mysterious psychological areas, uh, collect, equip and use items, interact with a vast cast of weird characters and solve brain-teasing puzzles. Um, yeah, so it's as you can see, it's an indie 2D platformer. Um, it's alright. I didn't super enjoy it. My, my issue with it was there wasn't a lot to it. So there wasn't a huge plot. It's just basically going through random different um weird sort of psychologically like sort of trippy areas to find items and then you need to use all those items to basically end the game and you can't finish the game without collecting all the items and there's loads of different items that do different things so there's like an umbrella so you can glide over like big distances there's um a magnifying glass so you can shrink and grow um a pill so you can sort of teleport back to the start all sorts of different things like that um I, the the level layout is a weird one because you can go left and right on the screen and uh, it sort of loops round so some of the areas you'll start from one side and you'll run and you'll end up back on the other side it's very trippy like that and you sometimes you have to do certain loops and certain ways to get to certain places and I, it, it was very confusing and I personally didn't enjoy it um, as much as I could have now the platforming's fine the controls are fine um, but it is a bit, um, it'll be like Marmite. You'll either love it or you'll just be playing it for the achievements, basically. Um, in regards to the achievements, if you use a guide, you can probably finish it in 45 minutes to an hour, if not less. Uh, without a guide, you're looking at a lot, lot longer because some of the puzzles are excruciatingly confusing and like having to fall in a certain direction to find something uh, that you need, which is always annoying. Um, it is four ninety nine on the Xbox Store, um, so it's not stupidly expensive. So if you are into it just for the achievements, it's a not a bad game for this ten thousand uh, gamer score challenge in May. Uh, it is optimized for the Xbox Series X and S. It has got smart delivery. It's got four K uh, Ultra HD and sixty FPS modes on the Series X and S, which is nice. Um, but like I say, if if you're not into sort of like uh, quirky, sort of funky-looking indie games. This isn't the game for you. There's not a lot of substance to it. Like I say, it's not a very in-depth and very sort of detailed game, but it does what it needs to do, and for that it gets a 6 out of 10. Uh, give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. We'll be putting more reviews up soon, and uh, check out the channel. Bye for now.